Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my new practical video. Today we are going to determine the qualitative analysis of carbohydrate. To determine the solution is carbohydrate or not, we can do Molis test. We can see the procedure for Molis test. 3 ml unknown sample plus 1 to drop of Molis reagent. Later we discuss how Molis reagent are prepared and plus 3 ml of con S2SO4. Here you can see how the Molis reagent are prepared. Now we take on all sample in a beaker. Take 3 ml on all solution in a test tube um, and add one to drop of Molis reagent in a test tube. After that, add 3 ml concentrate sulfuric acid along the wall of test tube and observe the color. We observe purple boiled ring. Here is the presence of carbohydrate in our sample. If there is no color, then there is no presence of carbohydrate. If there is purple boiled ring color, there is presence of carbohydrate in the sample. Here you can see all flowchart for carbohydrate analysis. Now we have the solution of carbohydrate. After that we do iodine test to determine there is polysaccharide or disaccharide and monosaccharide in the sample. Here we can see the procedure for iodine test. Take 3 ml sample plus 1 drop of iodine and heat and cool and then observe the color. We can eating the sample and cooling the sample. Here we can see slowly the blue color is appearing in the test tube. That indicate the positive iodine test. There is the presence of polysaccharide starch in the sample. If there is brown yellow color is appear, then there is the presence of disaccharide monosaccharide. For that we can do Bendix test to determine there is reading sugar or non reading sugar. Here is the procedure for Benedict test and for Benedict reagent. We have Benedict reagent here. Here you can see the procedure for Benedict test. Take 5 ml Benedict reagent in a test tube and add 8 drop of carbohydrate solution and mix it and boil for 2 minutes. Appearance of green, yellow, orange, red precipitate indicate that the carbohydrate is reduced to sugar. We observe yellow is color, sample is reduced to sugar. The sample is reduced to sugar. After that, we go for barfoid test to determine there is presence of glucose fructose or lactose maltose in a sample. Here we can see the procedure for barfoid test and for reagent. We have prepared barfoid reagent and add 3 ml reagent plus 10 ml sample in a test tube and boil for 30 seconds and let it be cool. And observe the color. If the solution is formed red precipitate, then the solution is monosaccharide, that is glucose fructose, 
in the sample. We have red precipitate is formed, then our sample is monosaccharide, glucose or fructose.